Good morning everyone. I am not going to lie to you, I am so in need of this aloe vera right now. I'm just dabbing it on kind of like, just like my hairline, just right at the tip of my scalp because I burnt my head so badly during my birthday weekend. This is literally just arrived, that's why I'm putting it on. The Amazon order has just come because I ordered it next day delivery yesterday because I didn't actually have any aloe vera in the house and oh my word, I can really just feel it here. I feel like it's one of those burns where you can't really see it, but oh my goodness me, is it itchy and just like really, really sore. But I had my hair up for the party just because I wanted it out of my face. I wanted to make sure that I was like, you know, completely hands-free and that I could get drinks and like chat and serve and not have to worry about like my hair being in my face and I didn't wear a hat normally I would wear a visor if I'm going to be like out in the garden all day but I just didn't think to wear one and even though I did put SPF on I feel like I just didn't go quite high enough on my hairline and it's just like really so this is really really helping with regards to just kind of like cooling it I just picked this up on Amazon it's an aloe pure organic aloe vera gel so I'm going to make sure that for the rest of the week I am wearing a hat that's why I always am so so careful in the sun I do feel like a lot of the time people think that I'm a little bit over I don't want to say over dramatic, but almost like overly cautious with regards to being in the sun. But I just, number one, I hate burning. Like I really, really hate the feeling of that like horrible itchiness, that flakiness and like that prickliness when you get into the sun. But number two, I don't think people realize how quickly I burn. I mean, yes, I was outside in the garden for like a good three, four hours, but like I had sun cream on, you know, like I was in and out of the house. I sat in the shade for a bit. I sat in the sun for a bit. It wasn't as if I was just like outside, you know, like completely lying flat, like trying to get a tan. And I still managed to burn at my scalp a little bit, but um, yeah, I will definitely be wearing a hat for the rest of the week. Speaking of hats, actually, there is something I completely forgot to show you in my what I got for my birthday video because it was literally like hidden underneath a few of the other things. I had everything like laid out in front of me. And as soon as I finished filming, I was like, I cannot believe that I forgot to show you these. These were actually from my mum. I'll have to text her and ask her where she found them. She said she literally ordered them from America. So I might see if I can find some similar ones down below. But they just look like luggage tags. She actually has also had them personalised, which is so, so cute they both have an e on them but these are not just luggage tags these are actually hat clips now i never heard of these before and they are quite similar in the sense of you know the handbag holder that i guys that i showed you guys and so many of you were like this isn't revolutionary ellie this has been around for ages i feel like this is going to be one of those things where this is going to change my life i think this is revolutionary but i'm sure a lot of you are going to tell me that these have existed for a while but they're basically magnetic hat clips if i kind of like break the magnets very it's very strong so really really hard to do so basically let me actually where is my hat let me get my hat so that I can show you exactly what I mean and I can clip it onto my YSL handbags so that you can see exactly how it works because it's honestly genius. So basically you clip this onto your hat like that and as you can see that is not going anywhere like it's a really really strong magnet and then you literally just put the clasp the um kind of uh what's this called like keyring type thing around your handbag and oh my goodness me it is a hat holder, so you don't have to worry about holding it. If you're like going away on holiday, you don't have to worry about packing it into your suitcase, putting it on your head when you're on the plane. This would have been so helpful when I was away in Rhodes because both Charlotte and I kept having to like hold our hats and kept getting so annoyed with them. And this is honestly game changing. It does pull off, but like it really does take quite a lot of effort. And it's so subtle. Obviously, I put it on with the um, same tag as the wire, so I probably wouldn't do that. But it's, like, really, really subtle. So it doesn't look like this massive, like, clip or anything like that. It's so, so genius. So my mum got me two of these. She, she got me one in black and one in tan. So I can attach that to, like, my Loewe basket bag as well. But I'm honestly flabbergasted by how clever it is. It's quite fiddly to get on. But as soon as you've got it on, it's like, you don't need to worry about that. That is not going anywhere. I mean, how amazing is that? And again personalized so it's got a little e on it so i'll text her and see if i can find out where she got them from because those are absolutely genius and i can't believe i forgot to show you them in my what i got for my birthday but i'm definitely going to need that today because i'm actually heading out i'm so excited we are going to my favorite place today Mottisfont, which i know i've taken you guys along with me recently i did a shoot there quite recently but they have just opened up their rose garden and I am so so excited to go and see it. Pretty sure their rose garden has literally like won awards. It's known as one of the most amazing rose gardens in the UK and it's basically this stunning walled garden that it just kind of got to like the side of the house and it is filled with literally the most magnificent roses. They've got so many other flowers as well. I know they do like peonies, rhododendrons, they do um 
azaleas, they do, what else do they do? They do delphiniums, oh my goodness, they just have so many, they have like trees, they have climbers, oh it's just absolutely incredible. They also have a kitchen garden there as well, so I definitely want to have a look and see what they're growing in the kitchen garden because I'm getting a lot of inspiration for my own little kitchen garden. I know I've literally just got the tiniest little truck, but oh my word, my veg is looking amazing. I need to give you an update on that actually because it's looking so, so good and it's making me really happy. Although I have a feeling Mottisman's probably going to show me up a little bit, but it will give me lots of inspiration of what I can grow and what's going to be like flourishing at the moment and just to be able to see their rose garden. I am so, so excited. So definitely going to have to cover up, keep a hat on me for the entirety of the day because I do not want to burn my scalp anymore because I can't tell you it's so itchy. I think I'm going to put some more aloe vera on right now because honestly, I just need all the coolness I can get. Goodness me, it is bright out here, but kitchen garden update. I am so, so impressed with how my truck is doing. Look at how full this looks. The last time I showed you this, this lettuce was literally so tiny. I think this is about ready to harvest, which makes me so excited. I need to even like look up exactly what I need to do with regards to harvesting it just to make sure that I can like kind of keep it going throughout the rest of the year. So we've got so much growing in here now. I planted things at different times. So things are ready at different times. These are onions, which aren't quite ready yet, but they look like they're doing super, super well, which excites me greatly. We've then got my lettuce, which this is um, baby gem lettuce. So I've got my big one here, which looks like it's about ready to harvest. I've then got a much smaller one, which I only planted about a week ago. So hopefully that will grow to as big as this one. We then have my spinach, which again is really, really new, only planted about a week ago. And then we've got my sweet peppers, which don't seem to be doing anything at the moment. I planted them quite a while ago and I'm hoping that they're going to do something because at the moment they've just been kind of like staying stagnant. Um, but yeah, it's just making me so happy seeing my truck full of veg and full of life. I cannot wait to harvest my own lettuce and have a meal with veg that I have grown from seed. Honestly, I'm so, so excited about it. I know it's really small and compared to most people's kitchen gardens, nothing at all. But considering this is my first year growing, I'm really happy with myself. So outfit of the day, ready for an afternoon, exploring my favorite National Trust property. I've got my favorite little black jersey dress and I absolutely adore this. H&M have done an identical version to this this year. So I'll leave that linked down below. But I just love how like flattering it is it's super easy super versatile I've been wearing it a lot gardening as well because obviously it doesn't show up like mud or anything like that and I've just paired it with my June slides I've gone very monochromatic for today's look which wasn't deliberate but you know how much I love black for a summer of keeping like jewelry and everything like that so minimal I've just got a couple of Pandora bracelets on because it's really really warm today and there's nothing worse than having like too much jewelry on and getting it like a little bit annoying like getting in your way um but yes love the dress love the bag and love the hat I mean, how clever is that? I'll probably be wearing the hat for the majority of the day, but it's so nice to know that I've got the um, holder there just in case I want to take it off if we like sit inside or anything like that. So outfit of the day, ready for an afternoon exploring Mottisfant's Rose Gardens. Oh my goodness me, I'm so looking forward to this. Well, if this isn't the dream kitchen garden, then I don't know what is. This is apparently a hybrid tea, a cross between hybrid petrols and tea roses how cute is that we've got quite a lot of variation in this bed i think they're doing is it called partner partner seeding partner sowing we've got thyme here this is apparently lemon scented oh yeah it does actually smell like lemon oh my gosh that's amazing we've got salvia what's this artemisia not entirely sure what that is and we also got some flowers i love the way that they planted it so they've mixed their like herbs and their veg in with flowers i've never seen a walled garden like it but it's amazing we've got some baby curly parsley growing in this bed and this bed is doing phenomenally well we have a giant chard it is literally the height of me this one is huge i'm in love with the roses growing up this wall they're just the most beautiful fluorescent pink look at that <laughs> i have never seen such an abundance of broad beans before look all of this is broad beans and they are doing so so well oh my word look at the size of them alex has big hands as well put my hand beside it to show <laughs> They're huge. Now this is my favourite part of the entirety of Mottisfant, their walled gardens. Look at this. 
oh my goodness me, I can't explain to you how magnificent this rose wall actually is. It is so, so beautiful. You would not believe the smell that these gorgeous purple flowers are giving off. I can't find the um, tag for them, so anyone who knows what these are called, let me know, because I think I want them for my own garden. I feel like we are in the secret garden right now. Look how gorgeous this is. How funny that we have got half peonies that haven't come out, and then one peony bush, which is in full bloom. Now that is a rose wall. Look at the size of it, and they're like the most beautiful pom-pom flowers. Oh my goodness me. that little coffee dance in the morning yes you can definitely expect to see this as a very very regular occurrence here on my channel i'm just obsessed with how it looks and actually i feel like my coffee tastes better out of it is that really weird i feel like it does mm -mm -mm -mm. good morning it is the next day and as you can see i'm in another great mood because we have another beautiful sunny day it is just mwah, chef's kiss at the moment the weather here in hampshire that makes me so so happy and yesterday at mottisfant honestly put me in the best mood because it was just so beautiful it was really really busy i won't lie i feel like because everyone wants to see the rose gardens at the moment and everyone wants to see everything in bloom everyone is heading there at the same time but it was just absolutely incredible and i thought the main attraction was going to be the rose garden and don't get me wrong it was stunning like the roses in the walled garden were just incredible they smelt amazing they were maintained so so beautiful they had so many different varieties but we both found ourselves in the kitchen garden more than anything else me and alex were literally saying that it is our dream to one day have these like big beds that we can use for like all the different like veg that we want to grow we'll have one for like herbs one for veg and to be able to like use veg from our own garden to cook with is just the dream and speaking of i think my lettuce is finally ready to harvest and i'm so so excited so i think tonight i might make us a salad and do like a little caprese salad with like some tomatoes lettuce from my own kitchen garden maybe some chicken avocado oh i'm so so looking forward to that because it's my first time ever harvesting from my kitchen garden so i'm really really excited about it honestly i'm such a country girl through and through these are the things that are making my heart sore being in my garden looking at veggies grow and harvesting from my own crop it's just making me so happy do you know it's so funny that you can completely tell what is on our minds at the moment because as we were wandering around mottisfant yesterday one thing that alex did turn to me and say was wouldn't this be so cute as like a little really bespoke wedding venue i don't think they do do weddings there but especially in the walled garden it would have just looked so so cute you can tell that is literally what we're thinking of at the moment we are still in the process of wedding venue hunting i feel like we need to have a little bit of a catch-up soon but i'm not gonna lie it has been a little bit a little bit more stressful than I was actually anticipating. The main thing that I've been very, very much enjoying when it comes to wedding planning is wedding shopping. I am just absolutely obsessed with it. I keep wearing white at the moment. I've got this gorgeous little River Island smock dress on and I'm loving wearing white. I'm loving buying like bridal pieces and I did a little order on Charles and Keith. I say a little order. This was quite a big order. And I definitely had wedding on my mind because I feel like a lot of these are very like bridal wedding inspired shoes. And I do actually still have my discount code with Charles and Keith, which literally runs out in like a week. So if you want to be able to shop 15% off, then use the code CKLE15. I will leave it linked down below along with all of the items. They have so many gorgeous pieces like bags, 
shoes, accessories, sunglasses, all of that jazz. But I wanted to add a few more kind of like wedding bridal inspired shoes into my collection ready for summer. So let me show you what's in here. Okay, this first pair. Now this is something that I was actually chatting about with some friends the other day because it is hilarious how much I love flats considering the height difference between Alex and I, but especially when it comes to in the evening when I'm at my wedding, I want to be in flat shoes. And I saw these on Charles and Keith and thought these could be another really, really great option for the evening of the wedding when you are just wanting to dance the night where your feet are killing and you still wanna look pretty, like you wanna have really, really lovely shoes on, but you don't wanna be in heels anymore. Alternatively, they could be great for like the day before, the day after, or a hen do. I just fell in love with how sparkly these were. I mean, look at this. They look so expensive. Like I can't even tell you how expensive they look. They're this really, really gorgeous pointed toe sparkly silver ballet flat. And they also had them in gold, I believe. So I'll leave the gold linked down below, but you know, I'm a silver girl through and through. And I just love the fact that they've got this like brooch on them. I think it's so, so beautiful and they are completely flat. So they're going to be super, super comfortable. And as I said, I feel like these will be perfect. If it's like the night of the wedding, you're just wanting to dance the night away. Or if you're on a hen do, you know, when you're in another country, I know a lot of people like to go away for their hens like Ibiza or Rhodes or Coz or something like that. There's a lot of cobbled streets a lot so heels are just a little bit of a no-no and if you're going out clubbing you don't really want to be wearing something that's going to kill your feet you want to be super super comfortable so i just thought those were so so gorgeous now this next shoe i'm not gonna lie is a very sophia richie inspired i feel like this is like such an amazing dupe of the chanel flats that she wore they are very similar in style to the sandals that i have in the sense that they've got like a little pearl with a little brooch on them and i just love the fact that they've got this little strap going over again they're a really cute little flat i think this would also be really really nice just with like cute little dresses i feel like these don't have to be bridal obviously i've got that on my mind but these could be really really nice for like the office if you're going to london going to meetings things like that i believe they also had them reversed if i remember correctly so i'll leave these linked down below but i just thought these were another gorgeous little pair love the fact that they've got more of a square toe i feel like that's so different to anything else that i have in my wardrobe and i just i fell in love with them very very sophia richie inspired okay next up i'm not gonna lie to you guys i really tried to stop myself from getting these and i know in my original charles and keith video i showed you the black version of this pair and i said to myself you don't need the white you don't need the white but actually i've already gotten so much wear out of the black I convinced myself to pick up the white. I thought, you know what? As long as I'm getting my cost per wear out of things, then it is totally allowed. So this is the white pair. So they're white with like a black trim. And again, I feel like they are very, very bridal inspired. I think these would be great for like a hen do when you're away with your girls, when you're just wandering around. They're super comfortable, actually. I have had some slides in the past that I have worn that have literally ripped my feet apart. I wore these literally for the entire travel day. I wore these all throughout my roads trip and they were just super, super comfortable feet so couldn't help myself it just had to pick up the white version now this next pair we need a little bit of a story time because a couple of months ago i actually almost bought a super super similar pair of shoes to this but let's just say they had an extra zero on the end of the price tag and i'm so glad i didn't actually buy them because these i actually prefer they're so much more affordable and I actually think they are even cuter than the original ones that I saw. And then this gorgeous little pair of trainers. Now, if you're like me, finding cute little trainers can sometimes be really, really tricky because you don't want anything too like clumpy. You don't want anything too trend led. And especially if you're like me at the moment and you have got weddings on your mind and you want them to be bridal inspired, I don't really feel like there's a huge market for that out there at the moment. The other ones that I was looking at are from Chloe. They're very similar to this, but instead of the kind of silky fabric it's more of like a lace fabric and oh my goodness i prefer these so so much more particularly because of the pearl detail that it has on the lace i mean look at that i've not seen anything else like this on the market and i really love the fact that they are just this really cute little tennis shoe like a very classic design but with these really really cool trendy twists to them so i just thought these were so perfect to add into my wardrobe i am so in love with these just to show you the shoes on because i am obsessed 
just look how gorgeous they look they just look so elegant and so beautiful i feel like there is this real trend at the moment of brands bringing out a lot more beautiful like evening flat shoes because not everyone wants to be in heels not everyone wants to be like elevated in height and i really really love that i think these are so so gorgeous they're actually really comfy as well and we don't have a toe butt. I know I've spoken about this a lot when it comes to ballet flats. I really, really hate it when you can see like the cleavage of your toe sticking out. We don't have that at all, which is super flattering. So I'm really, really happy with these. Maybe I need the gold as well. No, I don't think I need the gold. I'm a silver girl through and through, but yes, these are just so beautiful. Oh, Sophia Richie come through. Look at how Chanel these look i love the fact that they're actually open at the back i feel like it really helps to like elongate your foot and pull the eye up i think they're so so cutesy and feminine and girly without being like babyish which is what i really really like about them oh these are absolutely beautiful as well love the white version of my favorite black sandals i feel like they just have such an edge i really really like it. i think it's the piping the piping it just really really works and you know i'm not normally like a chunky dad sandal like ugly shoe kind of person but i feel like this is like a beautiful version of an ugly shoe which is what i really really love about them okay, now i don't think these trainers go with this dress but i'm obsessed with them i'm absolutely obsessed and they actually have like a little bit of a chunky sole which i feel like gives them a bit of an edge but they're like obviously soft silky fabric with the pearls that just make them so gorgeous and feminine i feel like with mini dresses these would look super super cute perfect for a hen or any other kind of like bridal events when you want to be casual but still want to look super cute speaking of bridal events actually i've had a couple of dresses that arrived recently from adriana papel and i feel like these would make such stunning wedding guest dresses so i've got two dresses here and i feel like they couldn't be further from each other but i do feel like each one of these would make such a perfect wedding guest dress i feel like my mindset has really changed with regards to weddings ever since starting to plan my own and just with regards to like the vibe of how weddings are and i do feel like you need to have lots of different dresses for lots of different types of wedding like this i could totally imagine like a black tie in the center of london i feel like this is like really cool really chic really polished this i feel like is so perfect for like a barn wedding or like a country english country wedding with like a marquee you're out in like the country you're on like grass i feel like they're so different but i absolutely love these I feel like they would just make such stunning wedding guest outfits i want to try them on and see what they look like let's style them up i'm actually so glad that i've got my hair scraped back in a bun today because i feel like the updo shows off this dress so so beautifully i mean look at this i actually think this would make such a gorgeous bridesmaids dress as well this is a perfect like english country wedding guest dress i am absolutely in love as you can see it's a little bit long on me i've just put on my little castagna um espadrilles i've got my higher heels on and they're slightly slightly too long for me but i feel like this will be perfect on most most heights i'm five foot exactly so i am very very teeny tiny but i feel like this would work for so many women i could definitely look at just getting like some higher heels as well with this but oh my word i'm so in love with it the tool detailing is just absolutely beautiful and the color is stunning this like mauvey pink and the way that it just kind of like frames your silhouette i actually have a little bit of room in this i could maybe have gone down a size i went for my usual size in a 12 and i think actually this is one of those dresses that a 12 is perfect but if you want it like super tight and super fitted go down a size but i love the like sleeves i love this neckline this kind of like scooping neckline i think is so so beautiful and i think it's one of those dresses that is just so special i could totally picture using this as a bridesmaid's dress for my wedding i think it's absolutely gorgeous love the floral detailing this would actually also really really look nice for a graduation dress because obviously you would just see this kind of like strip of it so you'd see all the floral detailing i think it would be so so gorgeous oh my goodness me i am absolutely in love i don't want to take this off this just feels so me if anyone wants to wear this to my wedding i will be over the moon <laughs> two very different wedding guest dresses for two very different weddings but wow 
How stunning is this? If you have a black tie wedding coming up this summer, you need this in your life. This is just so, so beautiful. I've paired it with the little silver flat. Obviously you could easily wear heels, but I just love the silver next to the navy blue. I feel like it works so, so beautifully together. I'm pretty sure I also saw a really gorgeous silver clutch on Charles and Keith. So definitely have a look and see what they've got online because, oh my word, this is so beautiful. So I've still got all of the, um, the tags on at the moment just because obviously haven't fully decided if I'm going to be keeping it because I don't actually know if I have anything to wear it to but if you have a black tie wedding you need this you absolutely need it the navy blue is just so beautiful it's like such a stunning and flattering color love the leg slit detail and love the fact that the um the straps are adjustable so they're going to fit any height oh my word this dress it's just absolutely stunning. I am so, so in love with this. Right, so it's quite a while later now and I have been tasked with dinner plans and I think the time has officially come. I'm gonna harvest my lettuce, oh my word. I feel like even since I showed you the lettuce yesterday, it has almost doubled in size. The onions are also doing amazing. Do I need to string these up? Because they are starting to flop over a little bit, but mm, you, are ready to be eaten. Have you ever known such excitement for just a little ball of lettuce? But look, it's just so perfect. I really hope it tastes good. I mean, why would it not? But this is my first time harvesting. I get it now, guys. I completely get it. The joy that you feel from harvesting your own veg. Make sure to give it a really, really good wash. But oh my God. Okay, so we actually had some prawns that needed using up that were due out of date soon. So I've switched tactic and I've literally just gone for a little prawn cocktail salad. But I've just made the cocktail sauce and used the lettuce leaves from my own kitchen garden. Oh my word, I know this is probably not the most appetizing. Definitely would not win awards on MasterChef. Super simple, but the joy I feel right now for having picked my own lettuce from my own kitchen garden. Oh my goodness, nothing compares to that. Well, I think I can confirm that there is nothing that tastes better than veg from your own kitchen garden. I mean, the simplest of dinners, but I am so, so happy right now. I have just set up camp outside because it is a beautiful, beautiful evening. And I've just grabbed my favorite book from Seed to Bloom. I have been working my way through the summer months of this. I definitely want to learn more about like cut flowers and how I can kind of like grow them within my garden in order to utilize them inside the house. There is a bird having an absolute sing song over there, but this is just the perfect way to spend the evening. I feel like this has been a little bit of a split vlog. I always try to keep my vlogs a little bit more themed with regards to whether it's like wedding theme, whether it's like a big fashion video, but I feel like this has been a little bit of a split. So I hope you guys don't mind that it's been half wholesome kitchen content and half wedding chats, but um, yeah, we do need to have a little bit of a chat to catch up. But yeah, we definitely need to have a little bit of a catch up with regards to wedding stuff soon. I'll let you know when we can talk about that. But this is basically me for the rest of the evening and I could not be happier. I'm just gonna sit here in my swingy chair. I just love this spot. It's such a gorgeous little sun trap. I just sit, swing and read and I could not be happier. So I'm gonna leave the vlog here, guys. I really hope you did enjoy it and I'll see you in my next one. My goodness me, I'm being blinded. <laughs> Bye.